Good morning, you guys. It's D-Day. Today is the day that Sweet Pea is making his or her entrance into the world. I um, It is 5.52. We should have already been on the road, but we took a little bit of extra time getting ready. I wanted to put on makeup. I just don't have on my lipstick yet. Um, we probably should have left at least 15 minutes ago, but it's it's okay. <laughs> it's all right. That chick angel, that chick angel, angel, that chick angel, angel. We, or I, um, and my husband was fine with it, obviously. Decided, oh Jesus, people are doing some crazy driving this morning. To um, take my doctor's advice, my doctor has allowed me to go. Uh, 12 days I'm 12 days overdue um, without being induced I know women can go longer I potentially could go longer but it was his advice that this be the day like if you if it don't happen over the weekend it's time and because he has not been one to try to force induction on me earlier than this because I know doctors of plenty that a woman of my age would have been like, nah, nah sis, you need to come out. Um, so, and he knows my desires. He was like, I know you don't want to be induced. He was like, but I really don't feel like we should go past this day. And because I like my doctor and I actually trust him, I was like, you know what? You're not saying this as a, <laughs> uh, what's the word? To slight me, you're saying it hoping hoping that your advice is actually going to benefit me so anyways on our way to the hospital when are you going to get over or which way are you going oh okay oh yeah i get it yeah i get it yeah i get it yeah like what the truck did no no i usually turn right here but you just don't okay that's what i usually do you just run a red light yeah oh Right along with everybody else. There's no reason for that light to be red. Wow. My husband just told me he literally runs a red light in front of everybody. Uh -huh. uh, what's it called? Hypothetically speaking. Hypothetically speaking. Oh my goodness. So the mothers are going to bring the children. My mother has a meeting in the morning um, at 8 something. So after her meeting, after they get the kids washed, the kids are going to come down to the hospital. We'll see. I should already be either in full blown labor or had the baby by the time they get there. Um, we're excited. Um, I lost my mucus plug last night, had some contractions last night, but then they stopped because. <laughs> That's what my body's doing these days. So what's up, family? This is day almost, uh, how many days are you past, dude? Um, I am 41 weeks and four days. She almost two weeks past due, y'all. Mm -hmm. 11 days past due. That's what that is. 11 days. 11 days. Oh, oh. so dark. Yeah. You got Oh, we got. I am having there contractions. She's finally. having contractions. I went and got my nails done, and while I was getting my nails done, it started to pick up. Yeah, but I'm talking and I'm moving around, so they're not that bad. But they are like kind of consistently coming. So hopefully, the midwife's brew worked. You ready? Yeah, I'm gonna go get hydrated and drink some bourbon. <laughs> So everything's nice and mellow. <laughs> we need a calm, sobering voice, you know, when, I, when you go into labor. That's what I learned somewhere. Um, but yeah, y'all, uh, the baby will already be here by the time y'all see this, but hopefully y'all have been praying anyways. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye. What's up, fam? So, we are here at the hospital. Finally figured out how to use this bed and turn it in, I mean, this chair and turn it into a bed. There's Angel. Oh, uh, y'all can't see you. I was about to say, I don't think you see me. Hey, guys. She's over there, ain't doing nothing. Just on laying Pitocin. around. On Pitocin. Ain't Gray had a single contraction. I had one. No, oh, she had one. Prior to Pitocin, that's it. So, yeah. We, uh, as y'all know, we went to bed this morning. 
No, they, they know it. Oh, yeah, we ain't getting in bed till after 1 o'clock. And now we're here at the hospital. It's going to be a tiring day, maybe. Yeah, it's going to still be tiring regardless. But it'll be all the better sleep later on. Hopefully his uh, baby don't. Just comes out and just sleeps good. Because <laughs> them twins didn't. Neither one of them. See so, yeah, ya. Keep y'all posted. We here. We doing it. Number four. So my doctor just came in. He's a hoot. He's a hoot. I wish I could vlog him more. If you all could see <laughs> mine and my doctor's relationship, you would understand why I do like actually listen to him and don't mind also correcting him if he's wrong. We were um, <laughs> 20 minutes late getting here. We're supposed to be here at six. We got here at 620 something. He said, what time did you get here? I was like, 6.20. He said, but what time did I tell you to get here? I said, 6. He was like, so why were you not here? <laughs> came, that's how he came in the room, clowning, clowning. He said, let me tell you, the reason why I like you is not you, it's your children. Your children are excellent. It has nothing to do with you. He's, he's a... Jewish from like Israeli or something of the Jerusalem some, somewhere over there but he sounds French for some reason but yeah he was in here clowning he just came tried to rupture my water I'm dilated to three centimeters they're moving up my Pitocin every 30 minutes I am on a level four currently hold on one second I'm tolerating these if I'm even having contractions I'm tolerating them the fact that I've already dilated. My husband's been over there getting his good old sleep. Ain't that right? That's how sweet, sweet he has been. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't stand him. Mm -hmm. You hear? Mm -hmm. Like some old man. But yeah, I was glad to hear that I was three centimeters. You saw how far his hand was up in me? You trying not to look? No, you got to be all up in this. What That was what you said your job was going to be. No, when the runs in here. Why not? Because he's dead. I gotta watch you. No, you watch everybody. Alright. Well, he's gonna get the full rat tonight when you come back. He's gonna get the full he's what? Get every bit of this. <laughs> he better get every bit of you, too. Uh, so, that's the update for now. It's uh, 8 20. So, what's up, family? Y'all about to find out something that I've known since January the sex of the baby. Angel don't even know that. Anyway, so we are in here. She's having contractions like crazy. Um, oh, she's actually in the middle of a contraction. Y'all can hear her. So I'm gonna get back to her. And I'll get back to y'all. Can you see? How are you? I'm getting through. Getting through? Get more intense. You know what I'm most upset about? Mm -hmm. They didn't give me scrubs this time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need scrubs. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Not happy about that. Just go ask I'm gonna go get some scrubs. So we're back. Angel's almost complete. And uh, what's it called? Dilation? Yeah, I'm like 9.5. There's just a little bit of a lip on one side of my cervix. And you guys remember Emily, you know, she don't want me to show her because she said she looks bad So she was a photographer. She's our friend and she was a photographer for the twins um, She won't let me show her though. She's you hear her massive transformer camera Going in the background showing our pores and stuff uh, <laughs> But anyway, that's the update. I'm gonna pan around one more time. The camera's blocking her face. So that's great. So we can't see her. And there oh, she is. Oh, I got it. Did you tell him I got my epidural? She got an epidural. 
Because those contractions it. were way too intense. It was terrible. It was terrible. We did some walking and all of that jazz. Mm, I threw up. Got, yeah, she got fluids all up and down the hallway and in the room. <laughs> Let them know we're here. We marked the territory. That's damn right. <laughs> so we can bring the table. The photographer is here. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> Nice. I'm smiling. I'm just practicing. I guess. Yes, I'm here. Fine. <laughs> nice. Oh. Here you go. All right. Now so let's where see. did you find him? <laughs> and uh, where did you find me? Yeah. In the bus station. <laughs> you look like you'd be a good doctor. Here you go. Are you a doctor? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. Is there anything here, baby? I, I saw that one of them took a haircut. Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah. One of his hair shorter like me before. What's his name? The one with the short haircut? Yeah. It's Kai. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ay, ay, ay. That's so cute. Nice. Yeah. This is a nice baby. <laughs> Come down. Perfect. I think you're being nice first around. Yes. Now, when when it happens, mm -hmm. both legs up, you do the same thing as you did. Mm -hmm. Take it inside, you push down, you want to do bowel movement again. Mm -hmm. Yes. And by the way, you did very well. Yes. The bowel movement was fine. Okay. Now I don't know, see. but I need one. Find me one. Good. Fine. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Next. Fine. Photographer is here. Mm -hmm. And the rest is not important. Let's see. Good. You want to deliver baby or you just take pictures? I've delivered babies. Are you too? I mean, everybody delivered babies. I've I don't had know what four. I've delivered. I don't know what I'm doing here. Everybody delivered baby. Okay. Most legs up. Nice. Nice baby. So when I'm telling you, you take a full inside breath, you pull. Yeah, definitely the baby needs a haircut. Definitely. Hmm? You have one right now. Take a breath in. Don't take Try the air again. out. Don't take the air Try out. Try again. Don't blow the air out. Hold it in. And go. One. That's it. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Get ready for your seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Exhale. <sighs> again. And one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Exhale. One, more time. <sighs> Come on. Let's have the baby out. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. 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 Head. Head. All right. Picture. I'm getting video. Video. Picture. Do I need to call Picture? the NICU? For who? Do you need NICU? For me? Because I want this baby out. Okay, hi, you want the baby out. Okay. We want this kid to cry. I'm sure Angel does too. Hi, you want the baby I'm out. I'm sure Angel does too. Okay. Nuko. Thanks, okay. too. There's two? Yes. I only see one. Uh, but I see two. <laughs> Don't worry, everything looks right. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Good baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here's another one. Two two. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Daddy, tell us what it is. It is a baby. I found out in January. I know. Oh, what? What is it? It's a boy. It's a boy. Oh, it's a boy. I'm oh, 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 I can't see his nose. Oh, where I'm going. <laughs> you want a fresh blanket? Oh. Huh? What do you think? He's great. Hey. Oh, oh look at you. Oh, oh wow. Come here, buddy. Let's get you to cry oh, some, oh, huh? Oh, 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 oh. Look Hi, around. Eyes wide open. What? I got me a fat baby. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Come on. Hey. Let's get a big okay. cry out of you, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you're thinking about it. Come, come on, buddy. On. Come on, come on, mommy. He doesn't cry in a second. What I'll do is take him over to the warmer it's and get him more stimulated. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh.
Give me a quick yeah. second. Huh? Can you do it again? Mm -hmm. Come here, buddy. You got it. His tongue's good. He's fighting back on me. Yes, yes. Yeah. Good. So one minute. I'm going to say seven. Look at you. You're doing beautiful babies. What can I say? Yeah. Thank you. side, the other side was nice. And this is your side. So that's where it attached to your uterine wall. Yeah. And then the nice, soft, flat side is where our baby was in the sack. Okay. Yeah. But it's a nice, healthy, okay. healthy looking placenta. You got a picture of it? No, I'm getting video of it. Oh, video. Oh, yeah. even better. Yes. yes. All right, but that's kind of the water that the amniotic sac that broke okay. and baby was right in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice little pad. That's why you didn't want to come out. It is almost, uh, well, it's 2.30 um, the day after giving birth to Amar. So it's almost been a whole four, 24 hours. Um, we actually added to his name. His name is Amar Angel Anthony Tanksley. If we had a little girl, her name was gonna be Angel. She was gonna be named after me. And since this is our last one, <coughs> And the baby looks so much like me. We decided to plop that name in there because Angel, in other languages, not so much English, <laughs> is both masculine and feminine. So, my husband agreed that uh, we could give him that triple A T name. <clears throat> um, the baby's asleep. He's over there, he eats so much, he's had about 13 crappy diapers today. Oh, somebody said, come on in. I try to say it. I think that I have to hold a baby. Huh? I think that I have to hold a baby. You're teaching us how to because you're a professional now? You know how to hold the baby now? Mm. Yeah. You're moving, you're rocking him? What, what's that for? Oh, you're making the baby sleep. You see, stop rocking the baby. Doing such a good job. This is the type of stuff that warms my heart. Ty was holding the baby earlier. Hat down, son. Yeah. Good job. I will show y'all my mom, but she looks halfway dead. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, my husband and my mama. My husband is awake, but he looks halfway there. We've just been trapped in this hot room. But I think we're going to get released today to go home. Oh my god. This room is hot. This is a pimple I've been picking at. It then pissed me off. Um, but yes, I think my husband feels like a, a rat in a maze. But a maze that's only a box. Yeah. We have a baby. Yeah. But my, my, my tummy, 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 tummy is a little bit like that. But it's, it's not, it's not big enough. Okay. We have this baby. Mm-hmm. He's explaining to you all that my tummy is not as big as it was before because of the baby. He knows. So we are on our way home. Um, we could have stayed a whole nother day, but I just, it was weird. I have, I have always, like this was, I told y'all, the reason why I wanted a hospital experience because I wanted the concierge experience. And while they were giving me that, I was ready to go home. I'm not sure if because the space was so small or there was nothing to do, I don't know. Did you feel differently this time too, Marcus? Yeah, I was ready to get up out of here. I mean, I could definitely tell that with you. But do you know why? Hmm. Well, little Mr. Mars back here with me. He didn't even get a, his first bath there. He's got on his going home clothes, the clothes I picked out for him. Uh, when he was still yet in my womb, these were the, this was the first outfit bought for him. I chose the boy outfit, Marcus chose the girl outfit, which was pointless. Even I knew it. <laughs> Did you already know by then? 
I can't remember. I have to go back to the podcast to find out. Um, so anyways, on our way home, to deal with our three boys that were so loud and obnoxious in my hospital room. I thought I was going to have to That's spank them. That's why I don't them. know why we're going home so early, because we got to go home to them. But I feel like it wouldn't have been so bad had it not been such a small area. Oh yeah, no, they're always great in bigger areas. It was they, they get too close together and that's when you got problems. <laughs> that's when you got a problem. I was like, I'ma whoop y'all with whatever strength I got left in my body. That's other thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just wasn't able to get the type of sleep that I wanted to be able to get this time at the hospital. Not that I get it any time but this time it was a little bit of a struggle so home we go oh him up shit that chick angel that chick angel, angel.